So let's begin. First thing you want to do is get DOS Box Turbo. And uh, this is the paid version. It's from the Play Store. It is the paid version. I can't remember what the differences are between the, the freed and the played. But just to let you know, heads up, this is the paid version of DOS Box Turbo. The second thing you'll want is a really good file explorer, file manager. My favorite is Solid Explorer because you can cut, paste, create folders, all that stuff. Now, the main folder, the default folder for DOSBox Turbo is the download folder. So to keep things organized, I, I create a folder called DOS. I put all my DOS games in it. And it is really important that when you make these folders that they do not exceed eight characters. If they exceed eight characters, you'll get an error trying to launch the game or find the folder. So it's important not to make sure to make sure that they're not more than eight characters. So here in the in the download folder, DOS is where my DOS games are, and uh, I'll be using Blood as an example. Blood.exe, that's the program. So to play Blood.exe on my phone, I'll need DOSBox Turbo, go to it, tap on the keyboard up there. Now type in CD, which, uh, which stands for Change Directory, DOS, because remember, we're in the downloads folder now. So you want to change directory space to DOS. Now we're in the DOS folder. And I want to change directory again to blood, which is where the game was. Now we're into the blood folder. And it was blood.exe. Now that we're in the blood folder, just type in blood. Oops. Dot exe. Now the game's going to load. And for this, I'll be using uh, a Bluetooth controller, uh, the Steel Series Stratus XL. I love this thing. By far the best Android controller I've ever used. Uh, okay, now, and it's, it's just as simple as that. Now the game is running. I gotta load up my save file here. And now the compatibility for uh, controllers with DOSBox Turbo is pretty crappy. It is not good. <laughs> like, I can't even use the joystick, I can't even use the triggers. So there's a lot of work uh, workarounds I've got to do to get this to run with a controller. So yeah, the, the compatibility for controllers on DOSBox Turbo is pretty, pretty bad. But it's better than nothing, so you just use the D-pad. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to play DOS games on your Android phone. It's really just that simple.